Hello, everybody. Um, I want to uh, demonstrate uh, with y'all um, centripetal force uh, with a little science experiment. What I have here is a Hoberman's sphere. And um, I'm sure you've all seen this before. Um, just a little tiny backstory. Um, I bought this in the middle of 2020 when I was um, doing a lot of um, physics research. And um, my main reason for actually being attracted to this uh, piece here was that uh, it contracted and uh, expanded um, what I saw as the Dantian of, of our being. And um, I had no idea that it was gonna actually show centripetal force. So um, I just realized that just within the month um, that this could do that. So I hooked up the pulley and the little string here. And so if this thing is um, actually rotating on the ver vertical axis, like so, with it fully expanded, and then you're gonna see how when it contracts, it goes uh, much faster. Now I'm gonna go the other way so it doesn't get too tangled. And as it comes back out, you can see it slows down as it gets wider. So the with a yin and yang, um, there's always a yin and always a yang together. So if there's centripetal force, there's centrifugal, I'm gonna call it energy. Um, reaction. Um, so the centrifugal is as it's expanded, it slows it down because the energy is being uh, pushed outward. So another showing there. And what do I mean by the centrifugal energy being pushed outward? Well, if you've got tires uh, going in the mud, the mud sticks to the tires in centripetal force. But as soon as the mud is too heavy for the tire, it will fling off in centrifugal reaction, or you could call it inertia. So I just wanted to share this with you. I could um, say a whole lot more about centripetal force, um, but I don't want this video to be very long. And I just wanted to uh, do a little demonstration, uh, visual of centripetal force going much faster as it contracts uh, in angular momentum, that is. Thank you so much.